Hi, Charles Moman here. I got a different location this time. I've done so many videos up in the driveway, I thought I would change it up. Uh, in 2016, about a month after we bought our runaway camper, I made my first video, and, and many have seen it. As a matter of fact, over a quarter of a million, officially a couple days ago, over, it went over a quarter of a million views. Um, every day, three to four hundred views of, this, of that original video. So I've had people ask me to do a 2.0 version, so here it is. I'll try to make this one a bit shorter. The first one, I kind of threw in everything. Uh, how to hitch up and all. I've got I now if you look at my channel you'll see specific videos about all the elements that with anything that we've added to this or how to hitch up a camper um, you get to meet a lot of people see a lot of modifications so check out my channel look at the other videos um, but I'll just do a little update here in version 2.0 um, so three years ago we picked up our camper I was hoping to meet the owner Steve Shives but he wasn't around so uh, we picked it up and headed back home and used it at a race uh, an ultra marathon and it worked out great and so we were very excited and started to use it. Now we haven't it really camped as much as a lot of runaway owners but uh, we have used it all over Indiana. We made a trip last summer uh, out to uh, Colorado to Estes Park, several trips to Florida. So since that time uh, we've gotten to be very good friends with the Shives family. Uh, we've gone to both of the homecoming rallies. They've been very gracious letting me um, have access to their staff and to film for a week in their factories so if you haven't seen my factory tour video uh, check that out um, I'm not paid by them I just like doing projects and um, so I've done a lot of videos in the past six months I've released a number specific videos about each model and a lot of other things so as I said check out my channel and you can find out all kinds of things so since we bought this the base price is about the same uh, the, they may have changed one of the options. I'm not sure the, the front rack is included now. Uh, but you call them up, look on the website, and they'll, they'll be glad to tell you. Uh, so what have we done? Well, we've not had to do much maintenance. We we did change out the tires. We used to have the 15s. And um, those tires uh, tires are, um, can have a difference in their, in their width a little bit and things like that. And so we found that we it, now and then, if we hit, really hit a bump and wanted to hit the fender, we ended up just changing out and going to the back to the 13s. So Steve did that for me. Um, and another thing that we did was we flipped the axle. Um, we flipped the, so that now the camper sits about three, three and a half, four inches taller than a normal uh, four by eight uh, runaway camper. And that helps us with our awnings. We have two awnings now. Uh, this awning is about the six and a half foot R ARB awning. They, they call it the 2000 millimeter. A little over six feet. We use it as a um, porch. We've got some side walls that we can put up to block rain or sun, but that, it's just a porch. On the other side is the big one. It's over eight feet. We have supports on each end that I added, had a fabricator make. And on that one, it goes out eight feet or so wide and eight feet out. And then we have a deluxe room that can be unzipped. You can have all screen. You can have it all solid walls. Uh, you can get in and out from inside the camper. Um, uh, it's, I think we're gonna see about having an awning person customize it so it fits our door a bit better, but it still works out great for us. Susie uses it to cook. Um, yeah, we sit in there if it's really buggy. Um, uh, my wife uses the bathroom at night. If we have grandkids, they might be sleeping out there if they're with us. And so um, the awnings, we added a tote, and I have a video about that as well. And I had a, a son-in-law added some L nice LED lights at the back. Inside, my wife built a platform for the bed, raises it up. Uh, because we have uh, three windows, we chose to add a back window. Now you can get a back door option. But we like the three windows, and a platform gets us up higher, and so the air uh, gets us, blows across us better when we have the windows open. And my wife changed the cubbies, and uh, they were okay, beautifully made, but we took most of them out, kept some of the structure, and she built some shelves for it. Um, so um, it's been great. We haven't even had to do any maintenance on it. By now, most people in two and a half years would probably have to re caulk some or all of it. But since we keep it in the garage all of the time, except when I'm filming or the times we're out camping, uh, it's really babied, so it's, it's kind of unusual, but it hadn't even need to be re -caulked. Haven't had to change a tire yet on the road, so um, things have gone very, very well with it. And we now tow it with the truck, or we use my wife's Grand Caravan that I got last summer, and um, we're actually towing uh, the camper more with that than we are with the truck. Works equally well. Um, so it's, it's worked out great for us. So let me just swing the camera around, show you a few things, and we'll, we'll keep this version 2.0 a little shorter. Thanks for joining me. Um, I just wanted to add, uh, you may have noticed it now says Cool Camp. I took off the Navigator and got the Cool Camp uh, sticker. So I put that on both sides because that's now what it's referred to. It's just the Cool Camp, the 4x8 model. So I thought I'd just change that out to make it consistent.
So there you have it. Just a little update to my original Runaway Primer video. Um, in summary, it's worked out great. We love it. Um, we haul it with two different vehicles now and they both work great. Uh, we typically camp at state parks or a KOA, so we normally have electricity, so we can use our AC or our heat. Um, we typically run a small dehumidifier. We always crack a window. and. Um, other than that, uh, it's just an easy thing to use all the time. And so we look forward to many uh, more trips. I'm hoping this summer we're going to have a trip to Texas, go by the Grand Canyon, uh, maybe film a little Milky Way stuff in um, Utah, and um, swing through Colorado, maybe get back to Rocky Mountain National Park where we were last year for a little while. So um, the runaway is not for everyone, but if you are looking for a small camper that um, gets you off the ground, and uh, it's easy to use and easy to tow um, and its price is great. There are many options out there of course and so uh, if you are handy some people buy cargo trailers convert them. I think schoolies are great but I just don't want something that big. I just something small and we're not full-timers so something that's easy to use and small works perfectly for us so uh, visit their website and give them a call and they can give you all of the information. Um, thanks for watching.